Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to the Women's Holistic Health Show. I am Dr. Camille McClellan and I am going to talk to you today about three simple foods and herbs that can help you strengthen your immune system, especially if you're suffering with a chronic condition. And when we talk about the immune system, it's really an area or a part of your body, it's usually a system that can help you fight an attack. Okay, so it's like soldiers coming to your rescue or coming to your body's rescue to help you defend any, you know, organisms or foreign organisms entering into your body, basically. And this could be bacteria, it could be viruses, it could be parasites, and so on. There are many different types of organisms or microorganisms that can actually enter the body and eventually, you know, break it down. And through the years, uh, scientists and research claim that the body uh, is able to defend itself. And once it can, with white blood cells that help fight the uh, attack that uh, the body is under, is actually an optimal way of your body uh, performing and functioning at uh, a, a well level or a good level in your life and if not then well lots of things start to degenerate and go haywire and then you know, as time goes on then uh, chronic conditions and other diseases start to appear uh, so that's basically the immune system in a nutshell uh, they are like you know, going to war for, for basically for your body. And when it comes to a woman with uh, chronic conditions, we have so many other things that we are, uh, that's affecting our body, including our hormones, uh, including um, our uh, delicate, you know, uh, way our body performs. It performs a little different than the male uh, body. So we are very sensitive. Uh, we tend to, you know, have lots of different symptoms that are unclear to a lot of doctors. And basically it it is hard for uh, a woman to get these diagnoses from their uh, doctor. And usually it's because of how our body works. So in a nutshell, again, the immune system helps you fight all these infections. And once it breaks down, then, well, inflammation begins and symptoms start to arise. So let's get into the foods that I was going to discuss. And we talk about a lot of foods. Uh, we know about superfoods out there. Uh, you can Google it and uh, it pops up. But an individualized care when it comes to the types of foods you need to eat, well, that is where your you know, um, direction should lie when it comes to wanting or seeking uh, better health. And the immune system would really benefit from foods that actually work for you as an individual. So uh, the different types of vegetables that really can uh, boost your immune system, we're talking about cruciferous vegetables. Uh, not all vegetables uh, of these nature or this type of vegetables work for people or work for women. Sometimes they give you uh, different symptoms. Um, sometimes when you have an autoimmune condition, it's important to know which ones work for you and which ones don't. But I'm talking about in general chronic disease and women uh, in relation to their immune system. So 
cruciferous vegetables, when we're talking about that, we're talking about broccoli, uh, kale, cabbage, uh, Brussels sprouts, and there are many others. However, based on how you feel, based on how your body uh, feels after you eat uh, these types of vegetables, again, take that into consideration. Another type of foods is mushrooms. And mushrooms, like we're talking about shiitake mushrooms, mitake, shiitake, and cordyceps. Uh, you can get those in uh, many different ways. Uh, you can also make them fresh with soups. Uh, you know, winter's coming up, uh, and it's a great uh, way to implement and put into your daily lifestyle when it comes to eating. And then fresh herbs. We're talking about garlic and ginger and thyme and rosemary. Those types of fresh herbs should be incorporated into a lot of your foods. So again, take a look at that, like I always mention, and uh, do your do your studies, do your work in and take a look at what uh, I had just mentioned. Now I'm going to talk about uh, four different, I'm going to talk about three, but I'm going to give you an, an extra one. Uh, three uh, herbs that uh, really help benefit the body when it comes to the immune system, can really strengthen it and uh, help you provide the uh, optimal level that can keep your immune system functioning uh, through your, your life. So Alma, and that is a very, very great uh, herb to really uh, find out about and take a look at. It contains vitamin C and it's packed with amino acids and minerals and just a total amount of uh, nutrients in this herb. It's packed with it. it. can help fight, you know, various infections. And um, in the world of Ayurveda, it's often used uh, in many, many different ways. And it can actually benefit and help uh, your iron absorption, strengthen the uh, skeletal muscles, system. It can also help uh, you digest food very well. It helps with your skin. It helps strengthen your hair. I mean, great stuff. And it helps detoxify the liver. Um, there are many other studies that show that it can, it may lower blood uh, pressure, blood cholesterol, help you maintain those uh, things that are very, very important to the body. And it can also nourish, strengthen the brain and the heart and the nervous system. So, I mean, this is a variety of systems in our body that you can really benefit with an herb like Alma. And then we talk about uh, a wonderful herb. It's very gentle very safe and effective. And this is what's really important when we are a woman and because women are looking for this kind of uh, these type of herbs, uh, these types of alternative medicines um, that are gentle and safe uh, and effective for the body. So when we talk about another herb that really can um, help strengthen the immune system, we're talking about ashwagandha. And ashwagandha is a very uh, gentle herb. It's an adaptogen that actually enhances the immune system and supports it. And it supports other parts of the body, including the brain. Uh, it helps with memory, helps with concentration. And the great thing about this herb is that it is a stress uh, reliever. It is an anti-stress uh, it contains anti-stress properties that can actually help uh, support the hormone cortisol that is uh, released into the bloodstream. And it can actually uh, improve uh, inflammation in the body. It's also known and research shows that um, it could be an anti 
um, it has anti-carcinogenic properties and it's an antioxidant as well. It can also uh, help with mood stability and it can improve vitality and your energy. So this is a great herb to also uh, look into to actually uh, optimize your immune system. And then we're going to talk about another one called astragalus. Um, astragalus, that's the name of it, astragalus, is uh, a wonderful herb as well. And it is an herb that can actually strengthen the cardiovascular system, it can actually help with wound healing. And it is research actually shows that it is uh, can benefit those that are having side effects with chemotherapy. It can also uh, improve the uh, menstrual system. Um, it can help with liver function and uh, uh, strengthen the the areas of uh, the hearing and the vision and what's great about it is that research also shows that uh, astragalus can help uh, improve the hemoglobin A1c in diabetics so this is another herb that you can ask your doctor or your physician or your health care provider uh, about and uh, they can actually give you some really good uh, tips on how to supplement it with your diet and uh, with your lifestyle. So one of the um, great ways to support the body is through foods. I always talk about this with my clients with my homeopathic patients, that it's very, very important to uh, focus on foods because foods are the, the first, uh, you know, way that we should be looking at, especially reducing a lot of the sugar content in your uh, body or in the foods that you eat to help reduce a lot of the inflammation. Studies show that uh, just doing that alone can actually reverse a lot of uh, what's going on in the body, including inflammation. So that is a good uh, tip to know and understand that foods should be your go-to uh, when it comes to overcoming a lot of your symptoms or a lot of your daily symptoms. Okay. especially if you're suffering with an autoimmune or any type of other chronic condition. And I always um, make sure that my clients and my homeopath patients are doing more than just foods because foods, um, you know, the body can benefit from many other alternatives. And this includes homeopathics, uh, and, and many other alternative uh, therapies out there. So I just wanted to um, just go ahead and talk about uh, the uh, herbs that I had mentioned before. This is uh, Alma. And another great herb is ashwagandha. And a third is astragalus. And this, these are wonderful herbs, like I had mentioned, to do some research and to get, uh, again, start taking action and uh, giving your body the extra uh, fight, the extra uh, necessary uh, nutrients and supplements it needs in order to thrive. So thanks so much for listening and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye now.